Ann here, the Crotchety Clogger. I'm here today to do another dance with you. This will be our second dance. And this one, if you're not new to clogging, this is a basic slash easy level. And um, I choreographed it to a song called Birds in Flight. Well, there's our Maxi Boo <laughs> making an appearance. Anywho, uh, Birds in Flight is the name of the music. It is has been provided by YouTube, uh, the copyright free uh, music that YouTube provides. Um, you can, if you have a channel, you can find it under your um, YouTube Studio in the audio section. They're free to download. If not. Just clog along with me. I will be sure to leave a timestamp in the description box as to where we do the dance all the way through, all right, with the music. Um, and remember, you can always slow it down a little bit with your um, YouTube gadgets on there, or you can speed it up if you want to go a little faster. This, to me, is a very, very moderate, uh, almost slow tempo for clogging, but we can be sure we get all the steps just right. All right, are we ready? Here we go, birds in flight. We're gonna start off um, by holding the introduction of the music, and we're gonna hold 16 counts, or two counts of eight. I, I typically count to eight twice. So that'll be our introduction, and give us time to breathe and know when we start, okay? All right, so we hold those two counts of eight, and then we're gonna do a rocking chair. Starting with the left foot, we get double step, kick up, and the basic. Then we're going to add a fancy double, if you remember that's two double steps and two rock steps. Double step, double step, rock step, rock step. So that's pretty much the very first part, or I will say part A, okay? Our introduction, we hold 16 counts of music. Then we're going to do a rocking chair and a fancy double. And then we're just going to do a rocking chair and another fancy double. So we do those two things, you know, together twice, like so. Ready? Rocking chair with the left foot. Double step, a kick it up. And a basic fancy double. Rocking chair again. Fancy double. So we did those things twice, right? Now, later on in the dance, FYI, skip ahead a little bit, it's going to be coming up. i got my cheat sheets over here taped to the table, can you see? <laughs> later on, we're going to do that rocking chair and fancy double four times in a row, okay? But we'll get to that later. All right, so let's just try that very first part with the music. Okay, remember, we're going to hold 16 counts. right where they are, your two triple basics. If you want to add a little flavor to it, we're going to do these triple basics. Now, if you remember, triple basics, using the old common sense noodle up here, means three double steps and a rock step, yeah? All right, so if you want to add a little flavor, we're going to do 
uh, one triple basic to the left, like so. We take the first double step kind of out to the side. Then the second double step, we're going to cross over. Then we're going to do one more to the side and our rock step. So now our right foot's ready. We can go to the right same way to the side and in the front to the side of rock step. I'm going to do that a couple more times. Triple to the side. One, two, three, and a one, two, three. Now if you're in a chair, you probably will be able to cross over. Just make sure you don't get your, you know, feet wound up together. <laughs> okay, so after those two triple basics, and I will just cue it as triple basics, so you can leave them in place. You can move them to the side. We're just going to do two of them. Okay, I'm going to continue. Right after that, easy peasy, you already know it, a rocking chair and a fancy double. And we're going to do that twice. So in other words, the two triple basics, uh, two triple basics, Rocking chair and fancy, two triple basics and a rocking chair and fancy. I, I, I usually say fancy for fancy double, just FYI, <laughs> in case I holler out fancy and you're like, what is that? Fancy double. Okay, so without music, real quick, let's try part B, okay? So we got our two triple basics, five, six, to the left, of here we go, and a one, to the right. Rocking chair, fancy double, and triple to the left, to the right, rocking chair, fancy double. And that is all of part B. How about that? So, shall we try with the music? We'll do part A and we'll do part B all together with the music. And remember, we're gonna hold two counts of eight in the beginning. Let's give this a shot. We are coming right along. Here we go. seven lessons, is that right? If you kept up with those, you already know all these steps. So now, see how cool it is where we can hook them together and make a creation out of it. Woo -woo. All right, let's go on to part, where are we? C, part C, yes. Now, I don't know if you noticed, as I left the music play a little bit, here, I'll back this up a smidge. I want you to listen how the music kind of changes just a little. Let's see. That was our rocking chair, fancy double. Okay, listen. See how the music changes a little bit? Yes. So our step's gonna change a little bit. So part C, yes. Oh, what a coinky dink, I didn't realize this. <laughs> part C starts with a cowboy, so that's easy to remember. And if we remember our cowboy, starting with our left foot, you don't have to start with your left foot, but for this choreography, we will start with our left foot. We do a triple kick forward, and woo, and a chain going backward. Double step or rock step, rock step, rock step. Yeah, let's put all that together. One cowboy, here we come. Five, six, a cowboy go, and a one -a and a two -a and a three to pick a up and a chain. Yes. And again, you do not have to move 
move that cowboy forward and backward. You can stay put right where you are if you wish. So, we just done that cowboy. I'm gonna do it one more time, okay? And then I'm gonna freeze. Here we go. And a one, a, and a two, and a three, pick up. All right, now, we're gonna do two kicks. And by that, I mean double step, kick it up, double step, kick it up, okay? So we got two kicks right after our cowboy. Let's put those two things together. Cowboy, five, six, seven, eight, and a one, two, kick up, two kicks. Start with a double step. Remember that? Two double steps and a rock step. Double step, double step, rock step. Now, we're going to do something fancy. Leave that foot right there because you're going to need it in one count. So, or two. <laughs> okay. So, this last thing we're going to do, I like to call, I call it a flash. I think you can call it anything you want to, but I call it a flash. Basically, all you do, hopefully I won't hit myself, you take your arms, you cross them down low, and you just make a great big circle. What? Whoa! I call it a flash. <laughs> Maybe you get wide or <laughs> All right, so after we finish that, I'm going to turn this way so you can see. After we finish that double basic, starting with the left, again, um, keep keep that right there because here comes our flash, right? Okay, one more time. Double step, double step, rock step, and flash. Right. I guess you guys can get what my arms are doing. I know my head's cut off. But anyway, spring around straight up over your head and then continue. Here, let me do this. Bring them around straight up over the head and just, right. Right, just make a big, I don't know, great big sun. Okay, oh dear. All right, so we are on part C. So we got that cowboy, we got two kicks, a double basic, and a flash. All right, let's try. Cowboy, left foot, five, six, seven, here we go. And a one, and a two, and a three, I pick that up. Two kicks, double step. with a cowboy. Uh-huh. Rock step, rock step, rock step. So part C. Cowboy. Two kicks. Double basic. Flash. Cowboy. Okay? Now, wish me luck. I'm going to try to find that part of part C in the music. Let's see. Hope I can. Got your left foot ready for the cowboy? There it was. One more time. <laughs> I'll, I'll count you in this time. Sort of, sort of, kind of. I hope so. Tell you what, let's give it a shot from the beginning. But you say, hey, whoa, well, wait, I've remembered all of what we've, I've forgotten all we've done before. Normal, normal. Okay, so what we've done before. Whole two counts of eight for the introduction. Yeah? Then we had a rocking chair and a fancy double and another rocking chair and a fancy double. Yes, part B, I forgot. Cheat sheet. Oh. Triple to the left and a triple to the right and a rocking chair and a fancy double. And then we do that all again. Triple to the left, triple to the right, rocking the dead eye. You get what I mean. Then part C. C for cowboy. Uh-huh. Part C is our cowboy. Two kicks. Double basic. Flash. And another cowboy to put that last piece of bread on top of that sandwich of part C, right? Yes. Let's do it from the top. Here we go. Don't worry, I've 
I'll kill ya. he goes off so I'm gonna have to put him elsewhere where can I put him yeah that'll do so <laughs> he's still a twerping okay part D is our last and final part we're almost done easy as pie it's the same as part A with the rocking chairs and the fancy double the only difference is that we are going to do that little story four times. So we'll have our rocking chair fancy double four times. All right, now, and that's easy. You guys can do that. But if you wanna make it more interesting, since it's four times and a square has four sides, why not do it kind of in a square is what I say, or around in a little circle. So, if we do that, let's use our fancy doubles to help us turn. And so, in other words, we'll be turning a quarter turn each fancy double. So, let's give that a shot. Left foot ready for a rocking chair. Double step and kick it up, and the basic. Now, our fancy double is gonna turn us to the left just a quarter turn. Yeah, then we're gonna do another uh, rocking chair. This will be our second set. And a fancy double to turn to another quarter. Then we'll do another rocking chair. It's our third one. Fancy double turn a quarter. Last one. Double step and pick it up. And a basic fancy double to the front. That just kind of makes it a little more interesting. Okay. So, let's do that much with the music. Ooh. But you know what? I'm going to throw something at you. Let's do part A. Well, introductions first. Then part A and part B and part C and part D. And we're going to keep it going. Because right after part D... We do part B again. What was that now? Oh, that was the triples. Yeah. With the uh, rocking chair and the fancy. After that, we do part C again. C for cowboy. Yeah. We do that whole little shindig again. Then we do part D again, and we're done. Woohoo! Let's give it a try. And this time, we're going to roll right on through, and I will do my best to cue you. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, take a slug of water. Actually, hey Maxie. <laughs> Actually, before we do the whole thing, let me show you how the ending goes, okay? Because the ending, you know, you just have to add a little something flat special. You know, a flair. You know, it's the end. All right, so the song ends, or the dance ends, with part D, right? Now, <clears throat> part D says to do the rocking chair and the fancy double four times, yeah? All right, so for our ending, we're not gonna quite do it four times, 
technically, we're going to do it three and a half times. Rocking chair and a fancy double three times. Rocking chair. Fancy double. <laughs> that was number two. Here comes number three. and give us a nice pretty ending. You know what, I'm gonna try something again. I wonder, hold on, should have figured this out prior, but now you kinda get to see how I have to, how I arrange things. Let's see if that square would work at the end. Oh, sorry. Fancy double turn, okay. Here's number two. Okay, number three, because we get to do all of number three. Okay, watch. Here's what you could do. Last one, and then when you take that step, you could face the front. Wah. Yeah, we can do it like that. I think that's what I'll do. Okay, just remembering that the ending turns you to face the front with a stomp and a flash, right? Are you ready from the top? I will cue you. I promise. Ooh, from the top, the whole thing. All right, here we go. Let me get a swig of water. Okay, got your left foot ready? Here we go. enjoyed that. That was fun. Brought out a little sweat. That's a good thing. Whew. I touched my face. Mm, I know. I'm at home. I'll wash my hands. <laughs> okay, so here's what I'll do. In the description box, I will put a timestamp where we just did the entire dance with the music, okay? And that way you can just go right back to that time and do it again and again if you want. Um, now, one thing that I just thought of before recording today is 
some of you may like to have this dance written down and and I will be happy to do so if you want um, just shoot me an email it will be in the description box and I'll be happy to type it up for you and send you an attachment with the dance okay I will also include all the abbreviations um, of the steps you know um, in my uh, dances that I type up um, and you can always email me and ask me what does this mean and what does that mean and I'll be happy to answer but just as a general reference there will be three lines per step first line will be the count which will which will um, correspond right over the actual step and then the third line so it's the counts then this then the step and then the third line will be whether it's your right left or whatever right um, it can get kind of confusing kind of like reading a knit or crochet pattern but again um, it's kind of cool you know to do and then you've got it in black and white someday you know if you if you especially if you download this music it's nice to have I call it a cheat sheet <laughs> uh, it's nice to have that in front of you to to help you along okay so I think that's it uh, give me a like if you like uh, subscribe if you like and um, be sure if you subscribe to ring the bell um, that way you'll get all notifications of, of uh, future um, videos that I publish and um, I think that's it guys thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time enjoy bye